After seeing something similar to this with her own eyes. It was on Main Street during, during the session. Delegate Dolores McQuinn says she was troubled by the brazen and reckless behavior. And I saw cars trying to get around them. Um, this, is, this is a public safety issue. The longtime lawmaker says it made her vote for legislation that would pump the brakes on those riding dirt bikes and ATVs in a city setting. This is something that we could do something about. And, and I think, I feel compelled, and it should be the obligation of leaders to step in to make certain that we are providing the public safety for those who are driving in motor vehicles and for those who are driving these bikes. And protecting the public was Mayor LeVar Stoney's motive Thursday when he saw illegal dirt bikes ripping through Shaco Bottom. Well, obviously, every situation is different. Yesterday's event started with uh, Mayor Stoney notifying me that he saw them in the Shaco Bottom heading westbound. Interim Chief Rick Edwards deployed a team of officers to find the illegal riders and it didn't take long. After the first attempt to pull these individuals over with our lights and sirens, uh, they refused. So we backed off, turned the lights off, and let the airplane do it at a safe distance. 18-year-olds Rico Thomas and James Brown, along with a juvenile accomplice, were all followed to this Chesterfield neighborhood off Arch Road. All three charged with felony eluding and reckless driving. Arrest made dirt bikes and a gun confiscated. Interim Police Chief Rick Edwards reiterating it's a public safety issue, it will not be tolerated, and the enforcement continues. Outside police headquarters in downtown Richmond, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.